Hello everyone, this is Tim with Online Big Blue, bringing you the best in New York Giants sports talk and entertainment. Well, the cuts are out. The Giants have made, are starting to shape their roster. A couple surprises here and there. It just reminds me a little bit of um, that famous line from uh, movie Major League when the guys uh, just announced the roster and the guys at the construction site and the bars are all looking at the roster going, Willie Mays Hayes. Rick Vaughn, who the F are these guys? I never even heard of half of them. Just joking, the roster is not that bad. But let's see, there are some notable cuts today, and a couple of them are Cooper Rush and Alex Tanney both got waived. Uh, Ryan Connolly in a surprise move. And I know he's coming back from the ACL, the fifth round pick. Uh, he may make an appearance or somehow come back to the Giants either on an injury settlement or something. Uh, Chris Slayton was also waived. And uh, Chris Williamson, the cornerback uh, from tw our 2020 class, was waived as well. Also waived, shockingly, would be all of our Victor Cruises. Uh, they are wide receivers Johnny Holton, Alex Bachman, Derek Dillon, Austin Mack, and Benjamin Victor, which some of these guys will come back to the practice squad. Running back uh, Feaster was released. Eric Tomlinson, the tight end, so in with Garrett Dickerson. Dickerson, John Jalapeno, he was just signed and released. Eric Smith, Tyler Haycraft, I think, will come out, somehow come find his way back to the roster. Kyler Murphy, uh, the uh, defensive end, Mac, and what is Lodas, Lodas, Nico, I can't remember his name, how to say it. He was waived. Um, let's see, Grant Haley in this kind of a surprise move was waived as well. Um, let's see, uh, Brandon Williams, Askew Henry, Russell, the defensive back, Jaron Williams, Prince Smith Jr., and Carson Tinker. Um, you know, there will probably be more moves because, like I said, we're going to be, uh, uh, got the practice squad, also 16 players in the practice squad, so there will always be some guys that we will, um, we'll see. We still don't know what's going to happen with David Mayo and Xavier McKinney, if they are going to be moved to the injured list or if they are going to be, um, eligible, of course, to miss three games and kind of go from there. Um, like I said, my biggest surprise, of course, is going to be the Ryan Connolly move. I did not see that coming. I knew he had some issues in training camp. Um, he's trying to stay healthy, but that, to me, was kind of a surprise move that they got rid of Mr. Connolly. Like I said, they may bring Ryan back. You never know. Uh, we have to see what kind of deal or opportunity they can bring him back on. But like I said, it is kind of surprising that Ryan Conley has been released by the New York Giants. Like I said, I'm more curious to see if they are going to somehow release him, injury settlement him, bring him back. And like I said, and don't worry about all the 957 Victor Cruises. Uh, they some of them will make the practice squad. Um, you know, they do have some talented players there. I'm surprised Bachman didn't mean make the team, which means of course CJ Board uh, is the one that came up on the roster big time and made the team. So I find that interesting as well. Uh, like I said, it's it's an it's, it's an interesting mix of guys that we cut. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna sit here and say, you know, the roster isn't shaping up because I think Gettleman, I uh, Gettleman, I do think Gettleman and Judge did a fairly good job of looking at the talent that they had and making assessments from that. Um, I think it's great that they didn't go with the, you know, well this guy was on the team last year. This guy was doing this. Um, but like I said, I, I think that's awesome that they didn't, you know, they didn't fall into that trap that this guy has to make the team because he was this and this guy had to make the team because he was that. I am surprised, like I said, I, I'm not surprised about them uh, keeping C.J. Board. I think, I think C.J. Board had a, um, had a pretty, you know, had, had a really good uh, camp. Tyler Haycraft, I, I am a little surprised about Tyler. I, I did not think that they would have waived Tyler Haycraft. Um, I think he's going to end up on the practice squad. The thing is, a lot of these guys that we see, they're going to end up on the practice squad. Um, there's no, there's no doubt in my mind. So I mean, I mean, all of our wide receivers are going to look, um, you know, are going to look pretty good. Hopefully on the practice squad. Um, I'm just trying to see if there's anything notable that I'm missing here. Uh, but like I said, you know, it's, it's, you know, Grant Haley. I was kind of surprised. I have to admit, I'm kind of surprised about it a little bit. Uh, I mean, I'm not 100% shocked by Grant Haley, but like I said, I do, am I am a little bit more. I thought that he would probably stick around only because of the fact that I thought that he did start 12 games last year. Um, so, I mean, I, I was thinking that he could potentially, you know, kind of fill back in for us, you know, either at the, at the, uh, either at the slot receiver position or maybe he could have came in and filled in a little bit more at the, uh, you know, at the uh, safety position. 
But again, like I said, no, I'm not saying outside of Ryan Conley, that that to me is the biggest shocker right now um, that we have gotten rid of Ryan Conley. Um, like I said, we've gotten rid of Cooper Rush, Alex Tanney, Ryan Conley, Chris Slayton, got Chris Williamson, Johnny Holton, Alex Bachman, Derek Dillon, Austin Mack, Benjamin Victor, running back Feaster, tight end Eric Tomlinson, and Garrett Dickerson, John Heller, Eupeno, Smith, Haycraft, Kyler Murray, uh, Mack, you know, Nico, uh, Haley, Brandon Williams, Askew Henry, Wilson, uh, not Wilson, I'm, excuse me, Russell, Williams, Prince Smith Jr., and the uh, Carson Ticker we just signed. And like I said, we do still have to make a decision on Mayo and McKinney, but you know what? We're going to have to kind of figure it out. I, I'm curious to see what the uh, full roster is going to look like. Um, I think, it, like I said, I think it's interesting that we, you know, some of these cuts. But like I said, it's I, I outside of the cut of, um, outside, what's his name being cut, uh, Ryan Conley. I'm not sitting there going, well, you know what, this, this, this is, you know, this is just, this is just crazy. I'm not, I'm not seeing that. And like I said, it's a, um, you know, it's, it's, Gettleman's got a lot of young, Gettleman Jones, uh, Judge has got a lot of young guys. So, I mean, it's, um, it is what it is. So it's, uh, we'll have more news probably. We're going to do a deeper breakdown on Sunday. Uh, we'll probably have some more news for you in reference to the Giants picking up some guys on waivers, some guys moving the practice squad. But like I said, these are your 2020 New York Giants. And like I said, we'll do a better show on this on Sunday morning. But like I said, those are the cuts for right now. And again, this is Tim with Online Big Blue bringing you the best in New York Giants sports talk and entertainment. And as always, if you could like, if you could subscribe, if you could ring that bell, I think you know what that means. That'd be awesome.